This is Family Caregiver Week in BC. Most of us are familiar with the term sandwich generation. Moms and dads working, raising children, and also caring for aging parents. But that's just one of a huge variety of different caregiving situations. And while caregivers give all they can to their loved ones, they need support too. Here's V. Cooper. Well, one of the few times that our family got together was at my wedding. Life has not been easy for the Sefton family. Don, when he was quite mobile. Born in 1944, Lou Wayne's brother, Don, was an RH negative baby and required multiple blood transfusions at birth. But unfortunately, the last transfusion that they gave him was our mother's blood, which was like a poison to him and it created a blood clot in the brain stem. How are you doing? Good. Pepper's come to visit you. Throughout Luane's life, she's helped her mother care for Dawn. And then, as her mother slipped into dementia, she took care of them both. On April 1st, her mother passed away. You know, it was not the life that she wanted, but the good thing out of it was that she got to die the way she wanted, which was in her sleep. So are you all ready to do your walking? Yeah. Well, caregiving is, is really one of the toughest jobs you can do. It can be one of the most rewarding, but also the most stressful physically, emotionally, and financially. Barb McLean is executive director of the Family Caregivers Network Society. So you could be caring for a spouse, you can be caring for a grandparent, you could be caring, you could be a child caring for your adult parent and that's a growing piece as well. Family Caregivers Network. Can I the you? FCNS, as it's known, supports um, caregivers with information, one-on-one -on -one guidance on the phone or in person. It offers workshops and support groups. Without the workshops that they provide, the support group that they provide, um, half the, uh, the health system navigation, I wouldn't know how to go about. Remember, not too fast. May 5th to 11th is Family Caregivers Week. It is all about recognizing and supporting the over one million family caregivers in BC. You gonna turn around? <clears throat> They're typically ordinary people doing extraordinary things. You wanna go sit down? Yeah. Okay. Because it's a vital job that has to be done. There. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.